Good day, lovelies, and happy Friday. I hope everyone is well today. Um, I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel, a Blissfully Aware Healing 888. Um, I did change the name of my channel. It was Lindsay's Lair 888. But as I have my Instagram healing page, I would like to obviously connect it easier um, to make someone find it easier from YouTube to Instagram or vice versa. Um, and so I've changed the name, so that's why. Uh, I may be deleting my other videos also, as um, my goal here now, I want to focus on self-love and making sure that you love yourself fully, no matter what part of your journey that you're on, okay? So that's why I'm gonna be here, self-love. If anything comes into play later, and I think I wanna incorporate that uh, at another time, then of course I'll let you guys know. But for now, self-love I think is the most important think that um, most of us have a big big issue um, with loving ourselves fully and um, no matter where we're at on our journey and what we're doing you know sometimes we're a bit harsh on ourselves uh, I would say most of the time most of us are very harsh on ourselves okay so um, we need to learn to lighten that load up a little bit and uh, release some of that um, judgment self-judgment and forgive ourselves a little bit okay so I wanted to get started. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do some uh, angel cards today to see what they have to say about self-love. Um, I wanted you to, if you can, go check out my Instagram channel. I do mini readings on there too, to where I'll put up a few cards that have just a general reading for that day or that night. Sometimes I'll do a couple a day, just whatever I feel. And uh, that is uh, also called Blissfully Aware Healing. Um, and it has uh, the underscore, you know, in the middle of the words, just the same uh, on there. Uh, I think I'm gonna change that with the, add the 888 on there too. So either way, you'll find it when you start to type that in, just check me out there. And um, I also have been a tattoo artist for 18 years and an artist for over 30 years. So if you guys are interested in any of that, I'm not gonna touch on any of that on this channel, but if you wanted to check out that part of me, you can go check out that Instagram, which is LNZ Tattoos, okay? Lindsay Tattoos, which is my name. So like I said, I hope everyone's well. Um, I also uh, usually do a crystal for the reading and the crystal today is going to be the rutilated quartz which is pretty cool you can see those little needle parts in there is the rutil um, so I'll be talking more about this in the meaning later um, which is uh, this crystal is super pertinent to what's going on right now in the world and I'm just what's going on in general I believe so um, I'm definitely gonna carry that bitch around with me today so <laughs> let's see what the angels have to say day for us. Um, I ask for guidance from the angels for self-love. What do we need to do today or this week? Maybe Ooh, dreams just totally popped out. I know some of us aren't getting a lot of sleep. Um, you're not quieting your mind like you should. Um, taking them bubble baths, making, do, making sure you're putting a little bit of salt water in there. Excuse me. Um, doing like a cleanse um, any water being around water as I've said before is very cleansing for us um, okay because we are mostly made up of water so when we're around water um, being in it is the best but if you can't be in it um, if you you know if you're out and about if you can go hang out by the lake or the ocean or a river um, that was super awesome uh, or obviously like I said you can you know your showers or a bubble bath with um, a salt water cleanse is really good light you a little white candle for purity put some good intentions into it all make sure you ask the angels to help you wash away any worries fears and doubts that you may have they will take care of them if you just ask to to be relieved ask for that situation to be healed and then let it go okay that's the biggest thing let it go all right well that one just went super flying okay i think that's a pretty good start let me get this guy here and we'll see what they have to say. Self-care, self-love, that relates to everything. That's why I decided to make that the main focus of my channel because I don't care if it's love or money or anything else that it's related to, um, anything else that is outside of yourself is related to that self-love and that self-care. Because if we're not taking care of ourselves, then nothing else is gonna be in balance in our life, okay? All right. 
Okay, so the first card we have is dreams. That's the one that popped out upright first. Um, you guys, make sure you're writing your dreams down. They are, there's so many messages that we have in them that we don't realize and there's ways to interpret them. Um, I can help you out if you need. You can message me and I can help you out how to interpret it or interpret it for you. Or um, there are um, sites and stuff. Um, I go to dreammoods.com. That helps me a lot to interpret dreams. There's books on dream interpretation. So um, as soon as you wake up, if you have a notebook by your bed or if you do the little memo on your phone, like the talk to text, I do that sometimes, even though the words don't come out very, very good <laughs> sometimes, but that's okay. Um, make sure that you write them down and uh, just get the messages from them for that day. You know, everything that you need to know, the answers that you're looking for are within. And the signs and, and everything from your angels, they're giving you them every day, all day. Uh, you just have to pay attention, okay? So uh, let's see what Dreams has to say. The card meaning is to pay attention to your dreams right now and to keep a dream journal, of course. You're receiving important messages during your dreams. Sometimes you may wake up with the feeling that you've traveled or received instruction during your sleep. You wonder, why can't I remember my dreams? The messages and experiences of your dreams are never truly lost or forgotten. They are instead incorporated into your unconscious so that your higher self's wisdom and love govern your actions. You can more easily remember your dreams by writing whatever you recall immediately upon awakening. Just write any little bit you can remember and the rest of the dream will unravel in your memory. Review your dream journal often and look for patterns and themes. These recurrent dream issues signify messages that your higher self and the angels are trying to tell you. So, um, a lot of us have similar dreams or the same dream all the time or we go back to the same place. You know, there's probably lessons that still need to be learned that we haven't taken care of and that maybe we know we need to learn them and, and, and take care of it to be able to move on. But, you know, you're holding on too tight to something right now. Again, you have to let that go. Okay, so write your dreams down. We'll see what they say. Message me if you need to. Like I said on my Instagram, um, Blissfully Aware Healing 888. Um, and I don't know if you can message me here, but if you can, message me here too if, if you want. But Instagram is the best way to go. So, um, oh, let me show you that beautiful dream. Has some red in there. Um, some of you need to ground yourself, work on your root chakra, okay? Um, and get that going. Go outside barefoot. Um, be one with nature again. Um, you know, breathe in the fresh air that we have outside. Go outside without a mask on. It's okay. I promise. The fresh air is much better for you than you breathing in what's coming back, what's supposed to be waste out of your body. Okay. The next card we have, which is upside down, is study. So if it's upside down, um, you know, this one I'm going to read. So I don't always read the cards upside down, but if I feel drawn to it, then I do. So um, the study card, there's somebody out there that needs to be um, maybe looking into more of their fulfillment in life, what they're truly here for, their purpose, um, something that's been gnawing at them to do and they want to learn more about it. Maybe you've been putting it off to do this 3D stuff, to do this mundane job that you hate going to. Um, you know, make sure that you're, um, if that's not what you want to do and you would feel much happier somewhere else, um, you know, doing what you're passionate about, then please try to do that. You know, follow your dream, okay? Um, it's, it's not impossible, I promise you. Once you realize that everything is vibration and you do create your reality around you, you can create that for yourself, okay? That's why you see other people being able to do it for themselves. Okay, because they create it for themselves. So um, just you have to think positive and visualize what you want in life. You know, have a set intention, a direct intention, and once you know what that is, then you go for it. Okay, so if you have to balance your time between your regular job and your passion, then that's what you need to do right now to be able to move, you know, all the way into the passion and what you want to do for your life. Okay, don't waste this precious life doing something that you regret doing and resent doing. Okay. Um, Next, we have Serenity, which I love, love, love. Let's see. Her card's cool. I haven't seen that one come up too much, so I want to see what she has to say. Oh, I love the greens. Guys, get out in nature, please, as much as you can. Get a little bit of sun. The sun is not bad for you, okay? Go out there for five minutes, ten minutes. You know, breathe in the fresh air. Go out there barefoot. Like I said, smell some flowers for crying out loud, okay? 
Like literally stop and smell the roses if you can. Serenity, the card meaning is that you are moving into a time of greater inner peace and tranquility. Peace of mind means feeling secure and knowing that you're always provided for. Even if your logical mind cannot fathom how a challenge could be resolved, peace of mind means that you trust that God will, God will create a miraculous solution. This sort of faith is always warranted because faith is a key component in experiencing such miracles. By drawing this card, the angels reassure you that peace of mind is within you. You can feel serene even in the midst of great turmoil. It's a mistake to think that you have to wait until your life is problem free before you can be happy and peaceful. The opposite is actually true. First you work towards serenity and then your life challenges lessen and disappear. Serenity is your natural state of mind and the angels are now working with you to actualize this. So definitely I've, of what I've probably said before in other videos, um, you know, you, you have to feel content, again, with the self-love and happy with yourself first. That's why that old saying, you can never truly love someone else um, unless you love yourself first, that, that's why. You know, I didn't understand it for a very long time. And then once I understood that I created my reality and that I was drawing things toward me because of my mentality and my mindset, I had to stop that and once I did all the beautiful things come you guys I promise you you know I don't bullshit I wouldn't just tell you this if it wasn't true if I haven't been through it you know what I mean so um, just keep that in mind you have, must be happy with whatever situation you're in right now okay that doesn't mean be happy with it and stay in it that means try to find any glimmer of light of hope of positivity within that okay because once you focus on those parts even at the most minimal more of that will come to you and that shitty situation or relationship or job or whatever it is will naturally fall away because if everything is vibration then it will not be able to vibrationally match you anymore okay so it has to by law universal law law of attraction fall away that's why you must stay positive and focus on the good all right the next card we have upside down is power so you guys are giving your power away i know you are you gotta stop doing that shit all right your personal power you're giving it away to people around you you're giving it away to your parents you're giving it away to your spouse you're giving it away to your kids okay what does that mean that means that you instead of taking care of yourself first you allow yourself to get beat up and you let these people run all over you and you let them train you on how to treat you and you're not training them very well because the way that you speak to yourself up here is the way that your environment reflects back to you, how you think about yourself. So as I was in abusive relationships for a very long time, um, because I was abusing myself mentally, hello, you know what I mean? Like I, I had to go through that to figure it out and to learn that lesson and that's okay. You know, I don't regret any of it. I don't resent any of it. Um, I've let it go and I've sent, you know, all the abuse and all whoever away with love. You know, I, I don't have to have them back in my life to forgive them. That doesn't mean they get to come back, okay? That means I'm not holding on to that poison anymore. So, uh, an abusive relationship couldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole right now. Seriously, if you guys <laughs> knew me, if you know me at all, you know that I ain't having that shit, okay? So, focusing on yourself and taking your power back, please. So, we can see that card in the upright next time. All right, next one is trust. Trust in the universe, you guys. You have to trust. If you know that what you put out there comes back, then you have to know that the good you put out there is going to come back to you. Okay, that's where the trust comes in. You want to manifest something and you're staying positive about it and you're having patience about it and maybe it's been quite a long time you've been waiting for it. You get little miracles along the way, but the bigger manifestation that you want maybe hasn't come yet and that's okay because it's not time. Okay, there's some little thing that has to happen for that all to be able to come to fruition all right so remember that that's why you must keep the faith and trust okay i promise you the universe will bring you what you need all right no doubt let's see what that card says actually if there's any more that needs to be um added on to the meaning is to believe in yourself and have faith that god and the angels are with you ask them to help you lose the fears that block you from enjoying full faith <clears throat> I wanted to um, make a point to this too because it's something that I didn't understand before of why do I have to ask? What I, because we have free will, 
Okay, I'm like, why don't they just swoop in and help us if they're our angels, right? Aren't they just here? They're what? What the hell? Like, why do I have to ask them to? Like, they should know that I need their help, right? It's because we have free will. So if we don't ask them, then they're not going to be able to help us because we're free to do whatever we want. Okay, so make sure you're asking whoever it is. All right, it could be the archangels. I ask Archangel Michael for help and protection every day, every single day. All right, pretty much, almost every day. Um, and if not, I know he's still around me. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, my dragon family, whoever you want to invoke to help you, that's fine. Make sure you ask that it's for divine guidance only and positive energies only that you allow. And then accept the guidance, guys. Receive. It's okay to receive. You don't have to be a superman or a superwoman. You don't have to take all the shit all the time. And you're not weak if you accept help. Hello? Like I said, if you help somebody else, does that mean that they're weak? No, it doesn't. You don't think of them as a weak person if you help them, do you? You're like, oh, I'm glad that I could help relieve some of their, you know, stress and some of the stuff that they have weighing them down right now. So let somebody else do that for you. Okay, don't make me yell at you, because I will. And then last but not least, we have truth and integrity. Oh, naked angels. I'm just going to read this one because it's right here on the page anyway. You are guided to be very honest with yourself and to be true to yourself in all of your activities and actions. The angels say to you, let go of any, anything that's inauthentic and all activities that do not mirror your highest intentions for yourself. If there's something in your life that isn't working, be willing to release it to God and the angels. Sounds familiar, right? Deja vu. When we open our hands and release unhealthful situations, the divine light can enter. Miracles always follow when we surrender troubling conditions. You'll find that the job, relationship, health issue, or other circumstance heals rapidly in ways that you could have never imagined. All along the way, the angels will perfectly guide you to actions that will either help you replace the situation with something better or heal it entirely. Expect a miracle when you decide to be true to you. So that's why you need to make sure also that you're... Um, when you speak your truth, you know that you're saying truly how you feel. Don't worry about the outcome or about um, how someone else is going to react, okay? Because when you hold that stuff in, it starts to manifest as physical things in your body. When you don't say things that you're, that you're wanting to say and communicate, you're just going to have throat issues. You're going to have little coughs and you're going to have a sore throat. And it's not the corona, I promise you. It's you're holding that shit in and you need to communicate. And as soon as you get it out and you communicate, I bet it'll feel better. Okay, um, even if you need to write it down, if you don't feel like you can communicate it with that person at that time, that's okay. At least write it down and make sure that you're getting it out. Okay, now you can deliver your messages with compassion. If you're angry or frustrated about something and you want to tell somebody something and sit down and have a talk with them, be nice about it. You can send it with love. Send the message with love. You don't have to say it with hate. You don't have to say it with angst or with anxiety or anything, okay? When you let it go and you and you feel yourself <sighs> asking the angels for help with conveying the message to the person with love and you do that, man, will you be surprised how some of the situations just literally magically heal, okay? Like I said, they'll either drop away or that will be healed and you can move on. You must be content within yourself and love yourself enough to know that you can control and take back your power Control how you feel and control your reactions with other people, okay? If they're having a bad day, don't let that ruin your day. It's nothing personal, okay? That's why you have to be content and centered and grounded within yourself so that you can get through the day's obstacles or the week's obstacles um, with calmness, you know, uh, with integrity, you know, with your mind clear and be able to address the issues that you need to. Okay, so um, a little bit more about the rutilated quartz here. So you see we've got that again. It's just so beautiful. I just wanted to show you guys again. Those are really cool. Anyways, all right. I got my little notes here, so let me flip over. We'll do this, and then we'll be done for today. Um, and I, you know, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, if you do like what you're hearing, if it helped you, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to hear more and get the notifications. There's that little bell down there. You can hit it for me. Um, and it would be so much appreciated, you know. And if you don't and nothing resonated with you and you don't want to love yourself, then you don't have to. And you can move on. <laughs> Go to a channel that fits you better. So, um, 
the rutilated, the rutil in the quartz is a major ore of titanium. So I just wanted to give you that little bit there. Um, rutilated quartz is an illuminator for the soul um, and it promotes spiritual growth. Okay, so super, super good crystal to have around you. It cleanses and energizes your aura and it draws off negative energy, disease, um, anything like that, which I think, like I said, is really, really pertinent to what's going on right now, okay? Dis-ease, anything that diseases you, okay, is a disease, all right? That usually comes from, like I said, emotional unstableness. There's something in your chakras off, there's something from your childhood or from an old relationship that you need to heal and that you need to let go of because it starts to manifest physically as pain in your body, okay? Um, so these crystals, that's what they help with also is to help you uh, with some of that work. Okay, with that internal work. Um, when you hold on to it, as you do the work, when it's energized and it's charged, and you sit down and meditate on it while it's near your body, um, it helps you to pull up and deal with that stuff and release it, okay? So, um, yeah, it helps in letting go of the past. Uh, it gives protection against the ill thoughts of others. So if you got some haters out there, some people that aren't too happy for you, don't take it personal. That means they're not happy within themselves. Okay, you gotta send them love, and and move along. You know, you don't. I don't care if it's friends, family. If you have to cut the cords, guys, cut the cords. Okay, um, you don't need negative thoughts around you. Keep your plans to yourself until you know shit's a go, and then you can, you know, then you can tell, um, then you can. Tell whoever, I don't want to say whoever, because again, if, if they have a negative reaction towards you, you don't want to share that with them anyways, but keep your plans to yourself, okay? If you've got, um, you don't want anybody to throw any negative thoughts, any doubts um, around it. So if you know what you got to do and you're feeling it in your intuition and you know that's what's up, don't tell it to somebody that's going to ruin it for you and kill that, okay? Because you know your path only and, and that's it. They know their path and that's all you can do, okay? Follow your intuition. Um, and, uh, whew, had a little brain fart there, but anyways, follow your intuition, um, and make sure that you clear your mind and listen to that more often. Remember our minds have been trained from small, small children to what your government thinks, what your preacher thinks, what your church thinks, what your teacher thinks, what your parents think. Um, so quiet this what's been trained and listen to this what's been not. It cannot be trained. Your intuition cannot be trained. Okay. So once you quiet and listen to that, you will get the answers that you seek. I promise. All right. Uh, one last thing. The rutilated quartz is also good for your solar plexus chakra, which is very often, um, you know, neglected. We don't take care of the solar plexus a lot. A lot of people, a lot of people, or a lot of even things I read seem to focus more on the heart and the crown and the third eye chakra. Uh, maybe your root chakra, the ones in the little middle area, they kind of get um, forgot about sometimes. So uh, focus on those. Wear some yellow um, to balance that out. Carry this little guy with you. Um, they're not too expensive. I think this one was like 15 bucks, which is not too bad. Uh, you could probably find some for a little bit less. Um, but go get some of that today if you can. Go to your nearest crystal shop. Don't suffocate yourself with your mask, all right? Follow your intuition about it. Everything's gonna be okay, guys, I promise, all right? Um, like and subscribe if you would, and go check out my Instagram page um, if you want to hit me up for a reading or anything else, all right? I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon.